Okay, currently I'm running Catalina 10.15.7. If you're running an OS before Catalina, I would definitely recommend that you use Soundflower. That works probably the best. Um, but from Catalina on, you will need to get Black Hole. The link is in the description. Existential.audio, fantastic company. This is a little app that will route audio between different apps. Basically push the audio between Logic and OBS. So it's just a quick um, free subscription. You'll get emailed the link, you go to it, download Black Hole, install it, and the next you go into your audio MIDI setup. They do have a 16 channel version as well. Today we just need the two. Press plus, create an aggregate device. I'm going to call it Logic Live. I'm going to click on two channel black hole and then I'm going to click on my interface. The first two outputs are now uh, black hole and your two, your output one and two that were going to your monitors or your headphone are now going to uh, be output three and four. So that's simple enough, you've created that Logic Live, and you go inside Logic, go to your preferences, audio, in your output device is Logic Live, input device is your interface. Remember your inputs on your interface still are exactly the same. So your devices work without any sound at the moment because remember output 1 and 2 is now going to be output 3 and 4 so you go down to your utility IO change it to output 3 4 on 50 percent output 3 4 50 percent dry wet so that shares half the volume with uh, OBS and half with your monitors and then you'll be able to hear it out your monitors and your voice as well with reverb or whatever you want okay we're in OBS quick crash course on how to do this down the bottom you have uh, scenes I'm just going to rename this one to call it live with logic. Over on its sources I'm going to go press plus and go audio input capture and set this one to just going to call it logic because this is basically what logic is. It's the black hole two channel output. Press OK. Um, my logic's over here so I can just yeah with no latency perfect no worries and that can uh, be my microphone anything that I have set up in logic at the time. If you want to add video capture, because hey, we're live streaming with pictures, uh, you know, you can go video capture device or even, you know, in this, I'll just go display capture even, and this, and I'll say, there you go, logic, display, because I've got a couple, and, you know, you can use your camera, your iPhone, whatever you like. So, you can see in logic, I am just have my uh, MIDI device on there. Um, I'll just record over here now or stream live. Uh, I have my audio track in here. It has a bit of reverb. Remember, I can EQ it. I can do whatever I like. I can, once I'm ready, I can sing. I can really set up the whole band through as many inputs as I like, right? And I can have my picture, have whatever I want on there. So there you go. Okay guys, so that is how simple it is. You can set up your whole band through Logic, all of its inputs, channels. You don't need Logic to record at the same time. So you're basically routing your sound without any latency into Logic, remembering that your output uh, one and two, that's going to your monitors or your headphones is actually now three and four. One and two now is routing through to OBS uh, thanks to your little uh, in between guy and the aggreg aggregate device. It's really not that hard to do. And remember, there's no latency here, so you can hear all of Logic's plugins, reverbs, EQs, compressions, anything like that. It's pretty simple. 
I'll be sure to make you guys a video on getting the very best vocal and instrument plug-in sort of setups for this sort of situation as well, just to help you along. But for now, you've got the basics, you can do it. So go crazy. Thanks very much.